Hello and welcome to the second episode of our Trains Route Building tutorial series. In this series I'm using TRS-19, but most things will also apply to other Trains versions. In this video I will be covering surveyor camera controls, baseboards and layers. Let's start by loading the route we made last video. Click on driver slash surveyor, scroll until you find your route, click on your route, click edit route. So let's talk about rotation first and then movement. To rotate the camera, you can use the arrow keys. As you can see, the camera is pivoting around the compass in the center of the screen. To rotate the camera more slowly, hold shift and use the arrow keys. To zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel or the page up and page down keys. To zoom more slowly, hold shift and use the page up and page down keys. If you zoom all the way out, you will go to a map view. If you zoom all the way in, you will go to a first person view. Here you can hold right click to turn the camera and use the arrow keys to move around. Ok, now let's talk about movement. This can be a little tricky at first. So the camera always orbits the compass. So if I move the compass by right clicking on the terrain, the camera will follow. To continuously move the camera, I need to hold right click to move the camera. Now, the camera moves in relation to where your mouse pointer is on the screen relative to the center of the screen. So right now, I have the mouse pointer almost in the center of my screen, so the camera is barely moving. If I move the mouse pointer straight up, I'm moving forwards. If I move it straight down, I'm moving backwards. The same with left and right. Ok, so now let's talk about baseboards. Baseboards are kind of like terrain tiles on your route. These tiles contain all of your terrain data. This right here, this tile, is our first baseboard. In TRS-19 and Trains A New Era, you can change the baseboard grid size to either 10 meters, which is the default, or 5 meters. The 5 meter grid size allows for more detailed terrain manipulation. To add a new baseboard, click on the first tab on the right hand side of the screen, select the grid size you want to use by using this drop down, either 10 meters or 5 meters, and then select the Add or Update Ground tool. To add a new baseboard, click on the side of an already existing baseboard. If you now zoom out to the map, you will be able to see the border between the two baseboards. Now, if you've already placed a baseboard in either the 10 or 5 meter grid size, but you want to change it to the other, you can change the grid size to the one you want, in this case 5 meters, and with the Add or Update Terrain tool selected, click on an already existing tile. It will ask whether you want to update the grid size, this cannot be undone, yes. Now the spaceboard uses the 5 meter grid size. Lastly, let's talk about layers. To access the layers panel, click on the second to last tab on the right hand side. In trains, there are two types of layers. There are root layers and there are session layers. Root layers are saved only in the root, but session layers can also be saved in sessions. To add a new layer, click on the plus symbol, Give the layer a name, for example, layer 2. Select whether you want the layer to be a root layer or session layer. In this case, I'm selecting a root layer and click the check mark. Now you can see layer 2 has been added under the root layers panel. If you lock the layer, it means you cannot edit it accidentally. So if you place objects on this layer and lock it, you will not be able to move them while they're locked. This is surprisingly useful. If you click on the eye symbol, you can hide or show the layer. This layer system is very powerful. You can do a lot of creative things with this. For example, if you've made a route and you want to make a special steam day session where there is the special steam engine that's touring the railway, you could make a new session layer in that session and then place all of the crowds of people and rail fans who've come to see the locomotive on that layer. This way, the people will only show up in that session. Now, if you want to merge a layer, you can select the layer that you want to merge into another layer, 
and then click on the Merge button. Then select which layer you wish to merge into and confirm. As you can see, layer 2 disappeared because everything that was in layer 2 is now part of the root layer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.